in wheelchairs for them. Get outside the door on that day and show these people in door there. The, 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 the people that are here, he's going to set that up for me. And the people will be set. And fair play to the car miners for coming here and highlighting their plight. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to pass the mic now to uh, anybody who'd like to say a few words. Uh, if there's anyone among you who'd like to add something to it. Okay, I'd like to pass you on to Claire here who'd like to say a few words. Two years, oh. <laughs> Two years ago, you had 21 billion in the pension fund. At the time when you had 21 billion in the pension fund, I personally wrote a paper for the government suggesting where they could put the pension fund to protect it. If they had followed the advice at the time, you would now have 61 billion in that pension fund. I got a letter back from the Minister of Finance explaining why he wouldn't do it, which was garbage, now all you've left in the pension fund is five billion. It's not like they weren't, they didn't know what they were doing. They have squandered five from 21 billion. Figure it out yourself. That's what they've squandered of your money. And there's many an unemployed person in this country who has money in a pension fund. They can't meet their mortgages and they can't get their hands on the pension fund because the truth of the matter is there's no money left and they're not telling us. Um, it's, an, it's beyond a disgrace. It's pure robbery. It's just robbery, and it's robbery of our age group. It's just not on. It's disgraceful. And we have to mobilise all pensioners to here, support here. us, because it won't just stop here. Here, here. Yeah, the best, I don't think that. Uh, well, I'm going to go to the bus. 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 I'm